Hello everybody, it's Rainbow Runner and welcome to 2024 and I'm going to be recording my very first video and first rail fanning of the new year. Um, right now we're down here at Elliott Road. Um, it's pretty late. Um, yeah, as you can see, I just have my truck parked at the church like usual and I decided that I would start filming right about now just so I could give you a glimpse of the signal here at the side of Elliott Road changing from that yellow to the red. Um, yeah, so cool beans right now. Um, yeah, we have an outbound that will be coming through here very soon. Um, it was literally in sight. I don't know how fast the train is going to be going, but of course, that's why we always want to take those safety precautions when we're around the railroad tracks. Um, yeah, I was actually getting ready to leave when I noticed the signal was on. Um, quite interesting, if you will. Um, so, yeah, I hope everyone had a good Christmas, had a good New Year's as well. Um, and actually, this next week, I'm officially going to be starting my next semester at Chandler Gilbert. Um, Hopefully things will go pretty smoothly. Um, it's been rather quiet tonight um, around downtown Gilbert. Not too much. Um, I, of course, was walking around playing Pokemon Go. Um, yeah, so. It's also been pretty cold. Like, it's... Um, it's uh, gone down into the 40s. Um... Yeah. So it's pretty cold. Um, and I noticed, and I know that last year it's actually been, been pretty cold as well, especially around the Super Bowl. Um, yeah, Super Bowl this year will be held in Las Vegas at the new Allegiant Stadium, um, by the way. Um, Yeah, but I guess this goes to show that even Arizona has its cold days. Um, I mean, I mean, of course I want consistency, but it is it's kind of weird. Like, even in January, like, even during winter months, you could have um, days where it gets, like, into 80, degree, 80 degrees during the day and stuff. But then all of a sudden you can have um, days, like, even, like, in March or April, which get down, which get fairly cold and... Look, I just want some consistency, all right? Some, you know, gradual transitions if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, but, um, yeah. <sighs> kind of slow going to get 2024 started. Um, not exactly sure how the rest of this year will go, but it's, But I definitely will be glad to inform you guys um, what how things will unfold. Um, it's kind of interesting. There's that house right there with those people. Um, and we also, I don't know if those are maintenance, railroad maintenance workers working right there or what, but... Okay, that BMW is not going to make it across the tracks. Um, or, okay, they're pulling up to the gate. All right, the train is coming into sight right now.
it for this train. All right, and the gates are rising, and... Okay, you may have noticed that um, the gates were flashing for an extra couple seconds. That was because um, that far gate right there actually raised a little bit slower than the rest of the gates. So that's why the gates were still flashing, even though um, both gates on this side were completely raised. So yeah, the gates, uh, the lights stopped flashing and the signals turn off once, um, I guess, all, every gate has raised completely. So green signal right there. And I think as per usual, I will give you a glimpse of the crossing gates as the train finishes passing Lindsay Road in this case. Trying to hold the camera steady. Okay, the gates on Lindsay are rising and they have turned off. Okay, again, signal holding green. I think that will be it for this episode of Rail Fanning and I'm gonna go home now. Thanks for watching guys and Rainbow Runner will be heading out.